Well, Syracuse continues to cement itself as a major player in the world of high tech manufacturing, including startups launching and emerging from the Syracuse Tech Garden, none bigger than density. So, joining us now, one of the co founders, Steve Von Deek. Steve, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Uh, really appreciate it. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So, density has just become the first unicorn from the Syracuse Tech Garden, which, as I've learned, means your startup valued at over a billion dollars with a B. What's that feel like? And, and how do you attract that much investor money to a company here in Syracuse? So it feels absolutely surreal. Um, we've been working on this for a while. And what makes it feel absolutely special is it's never been a sure thing. There's been endless ups and downs. So to be here today, having achieved this milestone, obviously it feels amazing, but also very surreal. Um, even before the pandemic, um, your products were, were really um, important. Obviously, a lot, a lot of people buying them. Anonymously and accurately counting in real time who's in a room and how it's being used. Um, even more so now in the pandemic, I imagine that's um, accelerated the uh, growth of your products. Uh, for sure. So, uh, density, we focus primarily on the workplace. So, we're an analytic platform to measure and optimize workplace performance. So, what does that mean? Um, Quick example I typically give is imagine a global company with 10,000 employees and a dozen offices. On any given day, each one of those offices might have to support a thousand employees or more. Um, and every single day, they're making important decisions on not only how to run that space, but to improve its performance. So it might be a real estate decision, it might be a facilities decision, it might be a workplace decision. Uh, but having our data to make data driven decisions uh, in situations like that can be very helpful. And a lasting impact of the pandemic is the movement towards hybrid work. And that's essentially where uh, people spend their work day across the office, the home, the coffee shop, wherever. And whatever venue you choose, it's, it's important that it's optimized for the work that you're doing and no place more important than the office. So they have data to improve the quality of the in-office experience and allow your team to be the most productive they mm -hmm. can be is, is really never been more important than today. Steve, how much has production at your Syracuse Tech Garden light manufacturing facility grown since you moved it there? It was a big deal about two and a half years ago to put it in there. Um, how's it grown? Uh, we've seen substantial growth in the last um, two years, uh, particularly during the pandemic period. Uh, and recently in the last year, we've uh, ramped up production over 90% to meet that uh, increased demand. Yeah, you're also speaking of up. Your employee count is up. I think it was 300%. I've been doing a little research since March 2020. Uh, and you're looking to double that headcount by this time next year? I mean, how are you able to find workers these days? It's, it's really tough, isn't it? Uh, well, it's a sufficiently ambitious goal. It's going to be hard, but um, it, growth is a priority to us, and it's something that we've invested in. We have a dedicated team that wakes up and works on that problem every single day. And uh, another thing that has been helpful for us that will continue to be part of our process going forward uh, is to really lean into our values. Uh, and that's a, that's a part of every hiring decision that we make. And, you know, when you hire on your values, that's, that's something that can perpetuate itself. Um, maybe last one for you. I know, I know your, your story here. You and your co-founders are, are from Syracuse. You're set up at base at the Syracuse Tech Garden. What's it feel like to have this kind of success? Again, unicorn, valued over a billion, continuing to grow the company, add employees. What's it feel like to be able to do that um, really based here in Syracuse? Well, for me personally, it's a it's a tremendous feeling of pride uh, being born and raised here, you know, um, uh, Growing my family here, being able to uh, lean into Syracuse and build our business here has been nothing short of amazing. Awesome. Steve Van Deek, he is the, uh, one of the co founders of Density uh, down at the Syracuse Tech Garden. Thanks so much for uh, joining us. Congratulations again on becoming the first unicorn, Density, not you, Density, uh, from the Syracuse Tech Garden. Big day. Thank you.